Hi, uh, this video is about uh, how to create organization chart in a Microsoft Visio. So I have opened the Microsoft Visio here and uh, to, to create the org chart uh, you can uh, find the template under the business here and once you select the business you can find the org chart here Okay, and then you can they give two options US or metric okay so I'm going to leave as a US unit and once I double click on this one it will open this blank file here uh, blank document let me zoom it a little bit here hundred percent so uh, let's say the structure I have is that I have one executive director here uh, then I have like uh, three manager report to him one is a hardware uh, manager another is, another is a software manager and third one is a sales manager and underneath each three of managers there are two or three people report to him report to them okay so let me start with the first executive director here so I just uh, drag and drop uh, with the with the direct uh, the first executive block here and this says that uh, the person who report to director I just uh, drag and drop in this box and it will uh, connect automatically okay so uh, the name of the director is let's say uh, uh, Gary uh, this is all fictitious, uh, fictitious name so I am just making it up uh, Gary Romain and the title is uh, senior director okay uh, now I can make it uh, size 14 and color with the blue here okay I am going to use the blue theme here so I will start with the dark blue here and then I will go uh, another blue colors okay uh, I'm going to use the white font okay so this is the director underneath director there are three manager reporting so this is the first manager second manager and third manager I'm going to rearrange the boxes here and then I can resize them okay and then okay uh, I can put them in the middle okay so now I can select all three blocks at the same time let's pick this color here font size to 12 the first person uh, name is Han Shen and he is a hardware manager this person is a heart Lauren and he is a software manager and the uh, third sales manager is a Martin Paul and he is a sales manager okay I make typo here so let me fix it okay uh, so all three managers report to uh, this Gary Romain now underneath each uh, there is a, a different positions so this is the position box here so I just drag second position uh, and let's say there are four people report to him okay so this is the fourth one okay and and then you can um, this is another team frame that you can use here something like this okay and then uh, but I'm not going to use it so let me just get it off it okay then you can uh, select the same I'm not going to type the name here just to save the time and then I can select the white, uh, little light blue color here. Okay. Now underneath software, there are three people reporting to him. So one, two here. Okay, and there is a third position. Okay, and the same thing uh, I can do. Size twelve, color. The light blue here okay and then under cell there are two people okay and then 
you just change the font size to and color. Okay, you can uh, give the different color for the different theme. For example, let's say I want to make this theme as a uh, let's say pick this color here. Uh, that's your choice. So, but I just leave for now to be same. And this color was let's see here. Okay. So now underneath director, there is a uh, one consultant here as well. So you can add the consultant directly uh, report to. So there is a one block for the consultant here. You can add that consultant here and give it some totally different color. Let's say like um, so you can stand out as a consultant. Okay, and then make a twelve. Okay. So uh, there are a couple things. There is a one of the company. You can give the title and date here. So let's say company name is um, Acme Productions. Okay, so that's the company name here. Now you can use the department name here. You can use this company name and department name as well. So uh, uh, I don't need it. Uh, so these are the couple of the stuff. There is a staff here. You can use the staff name and title format as well. Okay. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much. There is a three position that will create the three position directly. Okay, something like this. But uh, I'm not using it. So I just say okay, add it. Undo. Okay. So I think I pretty much covered all the tools available to create the org chart. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. So that's how the org chart look like. Uh, hopefully you like this video about how to create an org chart in a Microsoft Visio. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.